Hi, my name is Chetan Chawla and I'll be here instructing you with Sakshi in the fearless coding sessions. In the last video, we have talked about what programming is and what are programming languages. Let's now move on to the next question. Where can we program? The answer to this question is an IDE. Now the question arises, what is an IDE? And the answer is, an IDE is the abbreviated form for Integrated Development Environment, which provides us with an environment which has tools for editing, compiling, and running the code, all integrated. Let's Google search about it. So, Google says an integrated development environment is a software application that provides comprehensive facilities to computer programmers for software development. An IDE normally consists of a source code editor, but automate build automation tools and a debugger. Most modern IDEs have intelligent code completion. Uh, now let's head on down to the downloading and installing an IDE that is Turbo C or Turbo C++. Go to softpedia.com, follow the link in the description. So here we are at the softpedia link. Now you can click here for download. You can download it based on your region, language, based on US or Europe. On completion of download, run the setup. Click next. Agree the terms and click next. Accept defaults and install it. It will take some time installing. Once it installs, finish it and start Turbo C++. It will be running on Windows 7, 8 and 10. Here we are. This is how an IDE looks. Sakshi will be telling you more about an IDE in the next sessions. Uh, now let's head on to installing our next IDE that is code blocks. Just go on to the link in the description below so we find the downloads button here click it and download the binary release because it is the easiest method available for you at the time and will be most suitable based on your operating system of the computer download a file from sourceforge.net choose code blocks 16.01 setup xe and once the screen appears wait for a few seconds and once the download is over run the setup here we are at the setup wizard now click next and agree the terms and conditions now we have to check it that all the check boxes are checked up once you make that sure click next Accept the default folder and click install. So it installs and takes some time. Let it install. And then there is a pop up that asks you to run code blocks right now. Click no because we want to download an additional thing that is a compiler that is required externally by code blocks. And click finish. So if you open the code blocks right away you would have seen an error saying that the compiler GCC is not available follow the link in the description so here we are at the mini GW site and you can see on the right top side that there is a option for download installer click on it wait for a few seconds till the download begins and then run the wizard here it is so we click install and continue with the defaults we don't have to change the directory now it will start downloading and installing it will take some time once it is installed you, you will have a window like this where all these check boxes have to be marked make sure you check all these boxes in the setup
now here we are let's open code blocks this is how it looks on the first look we click on create a new project and choose an empty project and let's go so there is a wizard again you can set your project title and you can see that project file name has already been updated as you update your project title and accept the defaults now there is one more problem we installed a compiler but we haven't set it in the code blocks you can still see the error at your bottom right screen when you try to run the code so we go to the settings on the top and choose a compiler then we go to tool chain executables here we can see that the compiler installation directory has been mentioned you have to change it to the directory you just choose in C drive that we chose C slash min JW and press auto detect then it will ask for confirmations press OK and then finish the wizard